Speaking of can't wait for, I can't wait for this. Just a day after posting that dunk on Instagram, Zion, could he be returning? He's been cleared for one-on-one -on -one practice with the Pelicans. Here he is. Zion's last game came in May of last year. And so, Wendy, Zion has yet to play this season. What's the latest on the Pelicans and Zion's status going forward? Way of the first win for Zion Williamson in about 10 months because the mm. Pelicans were going to keep this going very slowly. They had not cleared him to do anything like he had done with that dunk. He was, did it in total violation of where he was cleared to by the team. And the next day, uh -oh. the team moved him forward in their, in their recovery process. Now, I'm sure they had some sort of schedule, and they can point to that, but there's no doubt that there's a causation here. Now, I still think it's hard to believe that Zion could progress from one-on-one -on -one to three-on-three -three to five-on-five -five to... To, to full scrimmaging, to clearance to play in just the seven or eight uh, games that they've got left. But listen, if he's unhappy with how fast they're going, he can just post some more videos, I guess. <laughs> and we just can't stop watching that video. And, and by the way, it was posted but, Tuesday night. He posted on Instagram. Vince, you're our dunker extraordinaire watching this dunk. <laughs> how does how ready does Zion look to, to return this season? Uh, I mean, but Wendy, uh, uh, you're right. I mean, it, at the end of the day, if it, today's in today's world with social media, if a player isn't happy, he can post this video and say, "Hey, <laughs> the organization doesn't want me to play, but look at me. This is what I can do." But you got to understand from the other side, the organization. That's a lot of money. That's that's their superstar player. They're gonna bring him along slowly because they, you look at where they are now. They're right there, and I know we sit here like, "Oh, you add Zion, they're gonna be." Right there, they're, they're in the playoffs, and they're going to be in the playoffs and make some noise, but they want to make sure he's healthy, and when he gets back on the court, it's for the long term. He's not in and out of the lineup. That's important. And understanding that we as players sometimes, we need to be saved from ourselves. You know, Jay, I've heard you say this a lot of times. You want him, Dion, to lose a little weight because that's one dunk that we're seeing by himself. You, you're talking about him landing that big body on that uh, surgically repaired foot uh, all the time. That's dangerous. And, 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 you know, the Pelicans want to make sure that he's 100% full go, full board when he gets back on the floor. I'm glad that you brought that up because, Jay, I look at this video, and honestly, that was the first thing I thought. I thought, how is that going to affect his foot? Should he be doing this? What did you make when you saw that? I don't think Zion's going to play this year. I wouldn't play really? this year. Really? Not even if I they get into the playoffs? It. I would not rush him back. I think long-term for Zion, that's how I look at him, what's in the best interest for him long-term or not. But here's the thing. I still think the Pelicans in a play-in scenario mm -hmm. could beat the Los Angeles Lakers without Zion. <laughs> without. Like we, like, it, 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 and, and that's my point. Like We're mm -hmm. talking about the Lakers not making the playoffs. It, depending upon when AD comes back, if he's coming back, Wendy, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. But we, we're all of a sudden expecting the Lakers just to turn it on down the stretch. I know LeBron James can turn on. I don't know if everybody else can mm -hmm. turn on around him to beat the Pelicans. Okay, Wendy, what do you think about that? Well, they have two games left against each other, and the Lakers are really putting a lot of value in Sunday's game in New Orleans. They sat LeBron James last night in large part because it would make sure he would have a week off. So two games left with the Pelicans and Lakers. The outcome of those two games very likely is going to determine who gets the home game. So one game in L.A., one game in New Orleans. The Lakers have the harder schedule considerably harder than the Spurs who are lurking there and they just blasted the Trailblazers last night by 30. The Spurs get to play the Blazers twice more in the next five games. So mm -hmm. the Lakers haven't just got to worry about the Pelicans. They got to worry about the Spurs and <laughs> get a couple alive. of wins here so when AD comes back they have a chance to even play in that game. It's amazing. Who would have ever thought we would be in a place where we would be saying the Lakers could actually miss the entire thing. Not just the playoffs, the play-in tournament, all of it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.